All right, what is up, y'all? We are here today for PCL Week 4 versus Goldoa Dragon himself. The man, the myth, the legend, Goldoa. Now, he is uh, he's, he's, he's pretty known out there in the draft community, you know? I see that boy everywhere. He's in uh, he's, he's been doing stuff with TTM. I've seen that man streaming on Twitch and YouTube, like, all the time. Very good content creator. Super fucking nice guy. And uh, just an all-around pleasant person to be around. Uh, super nice guy. Also, I've never seen anyone's me look more like them than this motherfucker's me did like when we when we added each other on uh in the little you know fucking uh friend thingy on ds that man's me was exactly like him holy shit if you watch the stream on his uh on his twitch over here because he live streamed the battle which was cool so i suggest you check that out i'm not actually sure if he's uploading this or if it's just gonna be on the twitch but i don't know either way check one of the two out i'll leave both links down below so definitely do that that was cool as fuck but um yeah, man, that man's meat looks exactly like him. So, uh, just before we get started, I'll jump into the battle, but I do want to give a shout-out to Joseph Games. Joseph is the absolute GOAT. That man fucking has put the PCL, as well as, I assume, other, like, the Draft League community on his back in terms of recording. People like him are the reason Draft Leagues can go smoothly, especially Wi-Fi Upload League. So, you know, take a moment out of your day to thank a recorder or a Jenner, you know, fucking just be nice to them because they deserve it and they're awesome and they literally keep this community afloat so okay real shit over let's get into this battle he has brought some things that i didn't expect now i thought for sure skis i was gonna see the infernape the rabombi and the vaporeon just because they're all very 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 good versus me uh i do also know that he happens to very, be quite fond of diggersby so i do have some solid prep for that but uh these two fucking i didn't think they were coming honestly so uh, let's jump into it um, I'm scared because it's Goldoa and he's a very good player and he just won ICBA so this man has at least one title you know there's some more under there too I'm assuming but yeah now this is gonna be a good battle man he's gonna lead with fucking Metagross so if he has the if he has the legendary HP fire poison uh, Metagross I'm gonna be taking down I'm Sash so I'm gonna be taking down to my Sash and I'm gonna get clean knock off on this thing we do all speed he's not scarf or anything and we're able to do so much damage. It's like 80% to this fucking uh, undergrowth. So he gets up his rocks. That's fine. We have we have Hitmonlee with the spin. We are able to spin on most things. And uh, things, things, everything should be all fine and dandy, you know. So I'm gonna click knock again. It kills the uh, it kills the metagross confirmed. And I don't want to give this thing a sap super boost just in case. And uh, we see he's actually gooey, which is nice to know. Which means leaf blades can potentially be free later on in the game. But he's actually going to be faster than us now, which is, it's, you know, noteworthy. And he's going to kill, like, a flamethrower from Gudra, who has decent special attack. It kills, like, an entire spiral of fucking Kartana's little origami ass. But we're Sash, so it only kills 99% of us. It's like, see, this Kartana right now is like the 1% of germs that the hand sanitizer leaves, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> so he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse, kill us off. And Flat Stanley's going down. Shout out to Flat Stanley, though, man. It hasn't done much this season, but what it has done, it's been good at, which is clicking one move and dying. So we're going to go into uh, into Young Garchomp here. Going for the Psycho Cut makes damn sure, taking back Sunday, that uh, we are going to put it in range with Earthquake. We can go for that, or set Earthquake, and do uh, we'll do about 35, 40 to this, uh, this here thick fucking... Yeah, that's closer to 35 than 40. Good golly. <laughs> That, that's a thick, uh, I almost called it Infernape, what the hell? That's the opposite of Infernape. That's a thick Vaporeon, man. And uh, he's got his collar popped, he's looking like he just walked out of Hollister. Fucking Vaporeon. Vaporeon's kind of a douche. Look at him. He's got his collar popped, he's got a little faux hawk. Vaporeon is kind of a douche. Great Mon, I love him. And one of my best friends in the community has Vaporeon as a mascot, but Vaporeon is kind of a fucking douchebag. Like, he's walking around like those kids in middle school that had, like, the Hollister jackets, you know? Like, Hollister jackets and... Uh, let me let me speak to your manager shorts and my dad will sue you Sperry's and stuff like that. I don't know. So Garchomp's gonna get up rocks. We're gonna toxic the Vaporeon. Basically, I just need to see its move set. We know it's gonna have Wish and Scald, pretty much guaranteed. And now we see that it also has Toxic. Now, last move, we need to figure out if it's gonna be Protect, if it's gonna be Heal Bell, if it's gonna be Ice Beam. What's it gonna be, man? What's it gonna be? What's in the bag? So Vaporeon is actually taking quite a bit of chip, or it will like. Now that it's toxic, it will take quite a bit of chip, and Vaporeon is the only thing stopping my physical sweepers from uh, from just roaming free. Now, um, 
Vaporeon is a huge threat because we let Cortana go down turn two or three because we are stupid and uh, we didn't bring <laughs> we didn't bring Lantern, so we don't actually have super effective stab to hit this with anymore. So that's probably shouldn't have done that, but hey, whatever. So uh, this guy's below half now, and uh, I just gotta keep him low. Basically, at this point, I just gotta keep clicking Earthquake. I gotta keep this boy low. We gotta keep this boy lower than Flo Rida's 2005 hit single. I think it's 2005. Huh? Is this me or just 2005? It seemed like it was like 30 years ago. That was a long time. But, Vaporeon's still in here. Like, it's he's just sitting there being a douche. He's been on the screen for like 45 minutes at least. And we're, we're racking up toxic damage. He's racking up toxic damage. Uh, at this point, I think I'm almost out of Earthquake PP. Not really, but, you know, balls. So he's going to switch out. And he's actually going to give me the Metagross, which is cool. We get our first kill. And uh, Garchomp, I think actually Garchomp picks up its first kill. But we got up rocks. We toxic the Vaporeon and left it at half, which is fucking huge. Fucking huge. And we saw its full move set to, move set to uh, well, assuming it has Scald, then we know it'll have Wish, Protect, and Toxic, which is cool. Because, uh, yeah, man, we don't we don't have to uh, we don't have to get Ice Beamed. We don't have to get Heal Belled. Vaporeon is looking nice and neutered. Uh, Vaporeon is looking more neutered than the end of a Bob Barker episode of uh, fucking... Uh, the price is right. So, Earthquake, while being resisted by Robombi, that's still doing like almost 50%. So, he can go for webs, which was the good play there because I couldn't kill him. And uh, he can just kill me next turn anyways. So, he can just Moonblast, and that's going to kill Garchomp. But hey, we got off rocks. We got off damage on this. We have done so much good stuff. I am just proud of Garchomp, man. It finally did something. Look at him go. Even He even dies passionately. So, now we can go into Hitmonlee. And uh, we're going to talk about this play because uh, this play was the stupidest thing I've ever done. So my speed falls, we get the white herb. White herb hit on these tech guys. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, even though Goldoa totally called it in his stream <coughs> and was able to pretty much identify the set like three turns before this, uh, that's the tech. You click close combat and you lower your stats, it restores them, you get your uh, unburden, you take the webs, you get your white herb, you get your unburden. It's amazing, dude. White herb him on these fucking... It's the tech. I'm telling you, it's the tech. Now, we're, we're unburdened. We are faster than everything on this man's team. Plus two. We are max attack, and we have rapid spin. So, everything's looking all fine and dandy, right? All I gotta do is click rapid spin, and then my other mons win the game. Now, while that may be true, at this particular moment, I was feeling ballsy. I don't know what got into me, I don't know if I like went down to Mexico and drank the water, or maybe I went up to Flint and drank the water. I don't know. We'll bring up the Flint reference again. <laughs> but I was just feeling ballsy, man. I put my dick on the table. Dick on the table, balls hanging down. It's a little cold in my room usually, I'm not going to lie. Dick on the table, balls hanging down. Now, I'm going to click Stone Edge, and if I miss Stone Edge, I actually lose the game. If I hit, though, flexing on him. And we fucking hit the Stone Edge. Let's go. Hitmonlee is fucking amazing. Bucky McBadbat over here. <sighs> Good shit, man. So he's going to go into Vaporeon, which was very surprising to me. Because uh, he has Banded Quick Attack right there. So I can go for the Rapid Spin. We get these rocks off. We get these webs off. And everything is looking clean. So, uh, yeah, the more I think about it, I'm actually not sure at all why he went for Vaporeon. Because all he did was not burn me, let me spin, and then let me continue to get off large amounts of chip damage versus this douchefish. So, I can just click close combat. I'm doing about 50%, and with the tough damage adding up, it's going to be doing a lot. Now, I figured he would just click Scald here and kill me since I'm going to be a minus one. But, he actually decides to go for the Wish, which is a losing battle. Uh, I'm doing 50% or so with close combat. He's toxic, and now he's forced to protect, basically, to make sure that he gets his wish. I, I, I'm going to click close combat just, just in case he wants to try to switch out into one of his other mons and then get the the wish back at the end of the turn. But, uh, yeah, he, I'm not I'm not going to let him do that. So I think that might have, not like, I don't want to say it was a misplay, but like, I don't know, maybe he had something else in mind. Like maybe he was thinking about wishing something back up and then just didn't end up doing it. I don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, man, Hitmonlee, like, this is now in range of Hitmonlee, so I can just click close combat again, and, uh, Douchefish finally goes down. So, Hitmonlee picks up another kill, which is cool, this is a good game for Hitmonlee, picking up a nice two kills already. And, uh, but now the threat's gonna come out, so he's gonna go into Ross, 
the Diggersby. And uh, that boy's got fucking arms for ears. You know he's strong. He can click Bandit Quick Attack. But I got that unburdened, speed boosted fucking Mach Punch, which does uh, about 60% or so to that, uh, maybe 50 because the rocks. But we do a lot of damage to the Diggers B. Him only goes down. You take a fucking nap, buddy. You deserved it. Now he's guaranteed in range of the Life Orb Water Shurigan. Uh, two hits guaranteed kills. It's There's no, no ifs, ands, or butt fucks about it. We're just over here fucking shrinking in it. And uh, Froppy's gonna claim another one, man. At this point, like before this game, Froppy is Greninja, rather, is the kill leader in the entire PCL, which is amazing. What a good fucking Pokemon. You'd think it would be uh, Dialga or Reshiram, right? Nope, Greninja. So, what happens here is a little unfortunate because it does kind of like ring out the game a little bit. Like it, not ring out, but like bring out. Whatever the word. Words are tough, man. Shut up. So we're going to Ice Punch the Goo Drake. He's gooey as fuck. We already know this. But I'm not going to risk uh, missing one of my other moves. And I'm not going to miss... I'm, I'm not going to risk the the rolls on other stuff. So we just go for the Ice Punch. Now I'm forced to switch out because he's pretty obviously going to have priority. And it should probably be Vacuum Wave because I have a Cartana. So we're going to go right on out into our Hentai the Intake. Solid name. Making its uh, PCL debut as well. And uh, we're going to eat this up, because Entei is thick as fuck. Holy shit. Vacuum Wave does that many. <laughs> and he's actually leftovers in Fairnape. So I was fearing potentially like an SD, uh, SD, like, close, SD, uh, Z close combat set. But he's actually Toxic Stall, uh, like, support-ish in Fairnape. Which is uh, hilarious, because one thing I've never seen in my life is uh, four or five turns of an Infernape Toxic Stalling and Entei. So, uh, let's watch that. Let's watch it together. Let's have, a little, let's have a little movie night as a group and just sit in here. Like, everyone sit, you know, Indian style and Native American style. And we'll, uh, like, cross leg it, you know. And we'll, we'll, we'll share stories and we'll roast marshmallow. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore at this point. I'm just killing time because I'm over here throwing a fit. Stomping Tantrum does a little bit more than half to Infernape. And uh, these, the rolls I get are fucking crazy, man. So he can just keep slacking off. This man is fucking slacking all goddamn day. Well, he's slacking so hard, this man's over here on unemployment and shit. And I just need to put him in range. Now, I don't have that thingy on DS that shows you, you know, in 25% chunks where your HP is at. So I only knew that he was in range because he hit the red and then he got his 6% or 8% or whatever. I, I can't even think right now. He got his leftovers recovery. And then he's a six percent, and then he's able to uh, just barely be in yellow. Now he's confirmed in range of extreme speed, so I'm just gonna click that button. We're gonna take out the Infernape, and we are gonna pick up W versus Goldoa Dragon and his New York Apollyon. Get the nice clean 3-0, and that was a solid game. Now, like I said, he streamed his battle on Twitch. It was cool. I watched it immediately afterwards, and uh, shouts to him for trusting me not to stream snipe him because uh, you know that's uh, that's there's a lot of trust involved, you know, and that's cool. So, all in all, a good game. Uh, Froppy got two more kills, which is clean. Still the kill leader in all the PCL. Don't want to spoil anybody else's potential things, but uh, yeah, boys got the kill leader, so that's cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, I just I really like the team all together. Like, it's been pretty solid, and this was a good battle too. I think, um, I think a couple sets and a couple plays he did might have been a little on the iffy side, but hey, man, that's kind of part of like being in a division and potentially playing someone two or three times like good golly so i completely get it um good game to go though regardless definitely check out the twitch definitely check out the youtube um peep his stuff he streams on ttm and all that good stuff so definitely peep all that shit uh like subscribe do all that bullshit once again shout out to joseph games for being just the fucking best and uh bye forever